If you're joining me at six, I'm Erin Christie. Karen and Naomi have the night off. First at six, two news investigates more than 100 noise complaints against Bixby's Transformation Church over their loud music. The city just announced new plans to tone down the sound. After weeks of news gathering, two news Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer breaks down the ongoing struggle to try and stop the noise. Hope could be on the horizon. I end up buying some noise canceling earphones and I can, you know, I can feel it. I can't, I can't drown out the noise. It sits there in bed with me. After nearly a month of trying to get information from the city of Bixby and Transformation Church, Brian Tony, Bixby's public information officer, emailed us saying Transformation Church has agreed to modify weekday rehearsals using in-ear speakers and minimizing the use of facility speakers. They're also looking at the possibility of moving the stage. This is Joshua Williamson. I went to his home where he's lived behind Transformation Church for 11 years, long before it was there. The land used to be home to Spirit Bank Event Center with the concert every few months. But once Transformation Church was built in 2019, he says their sound system made concerts he used to hear seem quiet. When the bass comes, this is what we're hearing. He says for years he's listened to bass coming from band members practicing at random times. It rattles his windows and shakes his dishes when he's working from home and eating dinner with his family or trying to sleep. I've been in the neighborhood for about an hour and a half and of course Murphy's Law. There's no music being played at the moment. But to just give you a perspective of where I am, that is the garage to the church and to the right is the actual church building itself. We're talking just 25 feet or so. The problem these homeowners tell me they're facing is that normal sound technology is not picking up the thumping of the bass. Williamson's tried to record the bass on his phone, but he says it's hard to make out. So his neighbor Jeremy told me he hired sound engineers from Liberty Ohm in 2020 to do a study. I reached out to them twice, but never heard back. But Williamson was able to send me this video of countless cars leaving the church garage around 10.30 at night after a conference. Another problem he faces living so close. Williamson's neighbor, Carl Schultz, is in the same boat. The pastor won't meet with us. The sound people won't meet with us. They'll just strictly take the tickets and turn right. As soon as the police leave, boom, here it comes again. So I made an open records request to the city attorney for every ticket and citation Transformation Church has received since 2019. He confirmed with me officers issued 150 citations between September 2019 and October 2023, which resulted in about $12,000 worth of fines and court costs. I reached out to Bixby Mayor Brian Guthrie, and he told me the church underwent extensive sound remediation work in the past, but it didn't produce results they hoped. He told me a few weeks ago the city is in a difficult position trying to balance their role in protecting church rights while also protecting nearby residents' quality of life. Through all of this, Transformation Church has been silent. I have called their main number four times and left voicemails on October 25th, 27th, 30th, and November 7th and 13th. I'm just here to try to get some response from Transformation Church. Plus, I messaged lead pastor Michael Todd on Instagram and called his executive office director twice. I never got a response. Since their website states they're open from 9 to 4 on Tuesday, I went to Transformation Church at 1 last week to see if they talked to me in person. Oh, hey there, sir. So I'm Justin. I'm with Channel 2. We're just trying to speak with somebody in there. Nobody. Uh, there's nobody in charge in there. A security guard told me they're the only ones in there. As for Williamson and Schultz, they just hope what the city says is true so they can get back to their lives, stress, and sound free. In 2021, Transformation Church purchased the Unit Corporation building behind me for $35 million. It's where their offices are. As a last resort, I went inside and spoke with the lady at the front desk. She told me she's received my calls and to go ahead and leave a business card and she'd give it to the person in charge. She did say there's no guarantees I'll get any calls back. In Tulsa, Justin Air 2 News, Oklahoma. And Justin reached out to the city of Bixby today to ask when the new changes will be made. We're still waiting to hear back.